Hello everybody, what is up? My name is King Spinach, and welcome back to my Massive Chalice Let's Play walkthrough. Let's go! Let's kill these guys! Uh, okay, I'm gonna move my Bone Barbo, uh, probably right here, maybe? Oh no, I think I should move him to right where this Alchemist is standing. So I'm gonna move the Alchemist up, in case we do need to use him, and I'll put him right next to the Lasp, uh, in case, if that is the, uh, actual... No, that could have been a very, very bad misclick. Um, not gonna put him here, not gonna put him there. Gonna put him right here. And then I think we're gonna be able to pick up a collat on these guys. Right? Yes! Boom! And good thing I did it too, because we are gonna need... Finish him off, there you go. Pushed everybody back. Oh, nice, got that shell defense and stun. Uh, it's bad that he got stunned, but I got that shell defense, which is useful. Uh, let's toss, uh, these in the bottle flask right there. Now you might be thinking, the hell is wrong with you? You just wasted a bees in the bottle flask. I'm pretty sure that those guys are just gonna run up to me, um, because they're seeds and that's how they roll. So, we'll use the bees in the bottle flask and just, like, let them attack, I guess. Uh, it shouldn't be that... Shouldn't be, like, too tough of a situation. Uh, I, ju I will finish him off with this Bone Barb Bow. I just want to make sure I'm not shooting my own dude. I am going to shoot my own dude. Oh, you know what I can do? Can I flask shot, like, somebody other than... No, I can't do that, huh? I can blind him. Yeah, let's blind him. Because I... Oh, I blinded my own guy, too. Which sucks. <laughs> uh, I'll just have the alchemist finish him off. That's fine. See? I knew it! Oh. I guess he... walked out of the, uh... thing. Okay. Whatever. Alright, my bees aren't... Okay, I guess that bee move wasn't really that good of a move. You're blinded, which means you have low chance to hit, but, okay, you can still finish him. That's good, I just wanted him to get the XP. Um, and, oh yeah, uh, in case you guys, uh, didn't catch the last episode. Um, this is, like, probably the second to last episode in the series because we're almost done with the game. Uh, and because of that, I want to make sure that we have enough fighters uh, for the future. So, what uh, what we're doing is we're playing with kind of like a B-team type of squad. Um, all of these guys are level 9s. None of them are the level 10s that we just previously leveled up in the last two episodes. Because with these guys, we should uh, level them up in case any of our A-team actually dies. Then we'll have somebody to replace them. And I don't know how many soldiers you're going to get to use in the Chalice fight. But if you can take like 7 or something, then it would be really nice to have a bunch of people who are almost at that... Uh, max level, almost at level 10, so that we can use them and start dealing some extra, like, damage with all of our level 10s using all the level 10 capstone skills. Uh, is gonna get a hit off right there, but the other two guys are stupid, because they're gonna take, um, B damage. I don't know what they're doing. They're all dumb. I'm gonna take B damage. Except for that seed. That seed was smart. And maybe this seed? Nope, he's dumb too. Nice, we get some free bee damage on these guys. Oh, nice, and he's gonna... Those bees are gonna take down that other seed, too. That's perfect. So, at this point, what I want to do is kind of back off my alchemist here. And uh, start using our hunters a little bit. Let's put you right there. And, uh, because these guys have collat potential... Are oh, you gonna hit both of them? Take it. Boom! Two for... And also, that alchemist has just thrown the bees, so, uh, they are gonna get the damage over time bonus, and, um, if any of my guys are... Oh, gosh, this is perfect. Is there any way that I can take down all of them? No way. Right? No way. Oh! The damage there. Ho! Oh! Got that put it down bonus. Both of these two seeds right up here are gonna die to damage over time from the bees, so I don't I'm not really worried about getting this alchemist any extra kills. I do wanna, however, check on these guys. Okay, I hit one of them for 20 damage. Wow. Um and I'm gonna move my caber up right here. 
so that way I can maybe charge at those seeds over there um, next turn and kind of we're going super aggressive this game super aggressive is our strat um, it's our plan of attack bee stings one more and that uh, seed hiding behind the rock actually got stung also for 15 probably so he's about ready to be killed by this new alchemist wait how oh I thought this guy was gonna be in seed range what what that's ridiculous Oh, see? Oh, no. wow, what a dumbass. He just went b right back into the same spot. He's gonna die to damage over time, guaranteed. Um, I honestly thought that this seed right here was also gonna die, but I guess I was wrong. Doesn't matter, we'll punch him. We're good to go. Um, that seed back there is gonna die. Give this alchemist up front here another uh, kill. So, and a little bit more XP. So let's stealth move over to this side where the bees aren't really gonna get us, and then we can kinda scope out the enemy with both of our hunters. I think that's what our plan is right now. So let's move you over here too. I kind of want to move this dude up, but I'm also a little bit afraid of, not the bees, I'm a little bit afraid of getting swarmed by those seeds up there. What I'm not afraid of is our uh, Kaber getting swarmed by those bees over there. Oh, you need to be one tile back. So let's do move. Let's move you one tile over. And then we'll charge into that seat over there. Hit him real good. Oh, wow. You push him like so far back. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. It's cool if any of these seeds actually hit our Kaber. Because we have the armor, the bulwark armor, we also have B bound, which is going to damage that seed that just punched us. So it's super nice. This guy was smart though, and he came over here. Uh, oh, this other seed, the bees moved out of the way. What? No. Okay, I guess these two alchemists will both get kills here for taking out both of those seeds respectively. Um, this Twitcher, is he going to swap? No, he's not. He's moving up for the caber. Um, it's a little bit of a ballsy move there. Explosive caber should... Can I hit both of them with it? No, I can't. I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't know, maybe? No, they're one tile. They're one tile too far. So if that's the case... Let's do this. Oh, and he has a sponge stone, so he healed all of his health. That's awesome. You can punch out this one. And our bees here are gone, so that's kind of cool. You can punch out that one. And you can punch out that one. See, we're trying to spread the wealth here a little bit, so that way our uh, our guys can all level up. Can you shoot that guy from here? Can you shoot any of them from here? No, you gotta move up. Oh, no, you can shoot these guys. Okay. So I'm gonna move you right there and have you kill off the seed so that our um, caber there can get some damage off of, uh, uh, or kill the um, twitcher. And then you can move over here and shoot that seed so that the bees will kill it after this turn. Or just kill it outright, that works, that works too. Perfect. That's fine. As long as he goes down. Doesn't even matter. So he's going to take acid damage, and I bet he's not going to be able to resist punching that caber right in front of him, which is going to send bees towards him. So even if the caber doesn't kill him, um, after bees... Oh, wait, no, you're stunned, aren't you? You're stunned, but you have shell defense, which is okay. Oh, now you're cocky? Come on, dude. Uh, so... The bees are going to do 15, so... Oh, no, he's going to kill it. Alright, I'll give our hunter the kill, that's fine. We only... I think our squad is 
probably the best, like our squad loadout is probably the best if we have two hunters, two alchemists, and a caver. Because that way we have a lot of range potential, but we also have a lot of melee potential from both the alchemists and the caver. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of good things in that. I don't know what that weird orange thing was on the side of the screen. I, I don't know what that was. I think that was a leaf that got caught in the freeze frame while we were, while the game was loading between, uh, characters. This last part there is not a, no bueno. I'm not happy about that last part. Um, we can't really afford to get hit because we, by the last at least, we can afford to get hit by the other people. Uh, because we don't want to, oh, please miss, please miss. No, ah, uh, we're losing XP there. We don't want to lose XP there, because we want these guys to be as high of a level as possible for the final fight. Nice glance. And I think uh, that Twitcher just lined him and the other seed up for a shot from this hunter, for Collat. Didn't you? Yes, you did. Perfect. Boom. You're only going to do 23, huh? You're gonna get to do 35 plus. Uh, no, just finish this off. Okay. So what I'm thinking is. Oh, you don't have hack. And, oh, no, you don't have hack and slash, but you can probably kill him with this, just because the range is kind of leaning towards your favor. You do have hack and slash, so you should guarantee that kill. Good. And then you can actually kill the Twitcher, maybe. Yeah, let's shoot it first. Then you can kill the Twitcher and make back the XP that you lost from getting hit by the last. Perfect, okay. This is working out well, this is working out well. And the sponge stone there is going to heal you too. I like the sponge stone a lot. Like the lowered max health is not too much of a problem for me. Just because the sponge stone is really good. Glancing blow. <laughs> that seed's a loser. Like these bees are kind of coming a little bit close to us. Which isn't really... It's not really the best thing ever. But we'll get a sponge stone there. Keep our health at the same. And Kaber gets a free kill. Now we gotta start moving up again. Let's put you right up there. Oh, okay. See? See? This is this is good. Now we know that there's another seed there. Getting ready to prey on our caber jack. Unless we swoop in and save him. Boom! Saved. Nailed it. Oh god, it's slowing down. Oh, okay. I thought the thought it was gonna be uh, the end of the mission. I'm like, no, it's too early. I need more kills. I need more XP. Oh, God. Well, that's kind of bad. That's a bad, that's a bad place for them to all be. That's not good. We need to move our guys up over to the right so we can handle them. Oh, wow. You're aggressive. <laughs> Running right up. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the other two are like somewhere over here. So I'm gonna kind of move you out right here so you can spot them. Right, that's a seed and the last. I want you to boomslinger. Oh, you could probably boomslinger both. Yeah, go for it. Or not. You'll hit one. But the acid will kill that last, so that kill is yours. Um, so, you know, that's nice. Both of our hunters together should probably be able to kill the um, Twitcher. Since this guy has more XP, I'm going to give the kill to him. So you come out, you shoot him. Well, that didn't do a lot of damage. Um, I want that guy to get the kill though, I want that hunter to get the kill. Or I could give the kill to this dude. Um, that could be actually even better. So let's let's move over here, so we're a little bit out of the way in case a boom in case a boomslinger goes wrong. 
and oh the collat for the win um okay i'll take it uh, just because that collat was there i'm just gonna take, take that shot i didn't even set that up i wasn't even planning on that we're gonna zoom out here because i just realized i could have planned that out with uh farther away view could have been a little easier now i'm gonna move up here and get ready to throw one of these flasks and if it has any chance of hitting my guys because they're they're decently close yeah take it okay Ooh, okay oh that was close <laughs> could have been really bad and we got to level up on that alchemist perfect 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 that's exactly what we wanted out of this mission and we haven't even gotten our mission xp yet so that's really good this alchemist is going to get our free finisher. I think it's going to be the last... I think this guy's the last one on the map. Uh, he's going to get our free finisher on the seed. Take him. To round out this fight. And we got... Yes! This was just like seeing the battle at Screed's Gate again. We didn't tell you about that one, did we? I don't believe so. Screed's Gate. House of the Thieves without houses. <laughs> Yes, this yes, this mission went perfectly. This mission went absolutely perfectly because we have at least one of each class that ha, uh, was able to hit level ten, which means that in case any of our guys die or in case we get to take extra dudes, we have uh, a bunch of options. And uh, Elena is actually close to leveling up, even though she didn't make it. She's close enough. She only needs a thousand XP that she could probably uh, level up in a match if we needed her to in the final uh, game. In the final mission, Whew. this is gonna be this is gonna be intense though. This is gonna be intense. I'm looking forward to the end of this. Yes, cleared out the sage droid. Our tactical team has rescued a baby girl who should be trained at a keep. Who cares where she goes? Let's just send her there because she's not gonna be old enough by the time we have to fight this out. Eleven years, guys. Eleven years. We need, to, we need to make sure that none of our fanguard dies, hopefully. Cassandra Sphinx has died at the age of 83. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wasn't even a fighter, though. Oh, so we can give persistence to Michi? It doesn't really matter. I mean, he's the only other person in the bloodline because that keep was destroyed, right? Um, it doesn't matter, though, because he's going to use the spark because that's been leveled up. That's an all-around better um, weapon, so we're going to just keep using that. Region of Crucible. Okay. Um, you're both Vanguard. Let's just throw Erica in there. Who cares? Marry that guy. Marry this guy. Congrats. Okay, we're hearing some deaths, which is bad. Alright, another regent has died. Mary... Or, no, you get to do it, Mr. 17-year-old. And then Madany, you get to go in there. Get in there. Alright. Whew. Okay. Three years, four... We can't decide on what the right move is here. So, we require a third party. The Walrus, Stabilatrix Grundy, reports that an old mentor and renowned bear fighter, Zavik the Walrus Grundy, <laughs> has refused to evacuate his home even with the corruption on his doorstep. Apparently, he has something to do with, you, with pride and not wanting to run away from a battle with your... Oh, hold on one second. Um, what, I, I forgot where I was. Oh, with your blessing, Stabilatrix would like to go out there and bring him to the capital. Allow Stabilatrix to go and reason with the walrus. Surely he will listen. Respect the man's wishes. You can't teach an old walrus new tricks. Um, I don't care about Grundy, you know? I mean, we're about we're at the end of the game. Grundy's only level 8. I don't care. So, go reason with him. Let's see what happens. Stabilatrix doesn't waste any time and sets out immediately. He'll be gone for four, four years? It takes four years to go talk to a guy? How long does it, how, you have to convince a dude in four years to convince a dude? Come on. You can do it faster than that. This guy is just not persuasive. Grundy needs to learn. He needs to learn the art of persuasion. He sucks. <laughs> 
Research. Woohoo. More people. More fighters. This is that's good. We need that. And they're all oh we got two level nines, two level eight or three level eights. Hunter, caper, caper, hunter, alchemist. That's nice. It's useful. Um should we what what, what do we research? I mean what do we research at this point? Like, let's just do let's just do discover new heroes again. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have 28 fighters ready. We have 28 fighters at the ready, ready to take the fight to the cadence, kick some ass. Oh, oh my God! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the walrus cometh. Stabilitrix country ending, ended up spending a week reminiscing with Zavik about the old days, but it had the desired effect. The walrus wished to return with his protege and join your heroes on the battlefield. Level 10, Zavik the walrus Grundy. What are your tr what, what skills do you have? You have follow up, honed hearing, exactly what I would have taken, blinding shot, dead eye, and chalk one up. Oh my god, this guy is a freaking champion. Grundy. You are awesome. And then who's the other guy? Stabilatrix Grundy? You are a badass. Yes, I love you. You brought another level 10 into our roster just in case we need another fighter. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. Ready yourselves. Oh, and we have another mission. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Um, upcoming events, can I check those out, or no? Because I forget which one's which. Oh no, I think our research is the, uh, hourglass, and, oh my god, we're gonna have it in one year? Jeez, okay. Well, do we save this? Do we save that? Oh, this is gonna drop off. I don't want it to drop off, just because I don't know how much we get penalized for losing territories, so I think we're gonna go to this place. Because I don't, I don't want it to, like, lose. I don't want to lose that area. Uh, I think we're gonna take another B team out, maybe the C team. Um, so we're gonna replace Muir Derp. Let's see. Can we replace him? Oh god. Grundy, you freaking champion. Let's put Michi, uh, just because, um, he is level 9. If he does get hit by a Wrinkler, though, he's gonna die. Which would suck, but we, we, we'll be okay. So, yeah, let's take the Undertaker. Steady hand or advanced hunter armor. Yeah, this guy's basically already he's already loaded out. Um, you're a level nine, so we're gonna keep you there, Elena. Andreas, we're gonna replace with Oh, you're a caber, right? So we should replace you with another caber. Blast capper. Either Isabella McStrong muscle. Time fist. Nope. Uh yeah, time fist, not refined, bone shell. Um, and then sponge stone, because that's just the great way to do it. Charge, extra. Oh no, I made her prime target instead. Damn, maybe we could use taunt. Taunt might be useful. It's also extra armor, which is a good synergy with the uh, bone shell armor. And be bound every day of the week. All right, Isabella. You get to replace. Now we need two brutalists. Let's see. We have a. Oh, we... oh, Sarisa is also only level nine, so maybe we should take an extra hunter. We'll have three hunters on this. Maybe I don't know. We could put Johan. Joanna. Why did I say Yo? I, I was thinking Johan. Uh, no, Joanna has decreased XP. We don't care about her. Um, God, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> you you don't learn well. We hate you. Arg doesn't have enough. None of these guys have enough XP to actually make it if we did level them up. So I think we're just going to end up taking... Like, these guys all do. Except maybe Joanna. I don't think Joanna would make it. Um, Skade could do it, but I think we're going to probably go with... Uh, what kind of traits do you have? Oh, you have increased XP gain, but you're also nervous. Uh, I guess if we don't give you a bone barb bow, you can't really hurt any of our guys, so that works. And we'll do steady hander and kind of maybe get rid of the nervous effects. So Flynn Daunt is going to come with us. And I think we're taking four. Man, that's just stupid. We're not taking any alchemists on this mission. 
Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we're taking any alchemists. We'll take uh, Sarisa though, because she has the spark and she's already loaded out. So there we go. Here's C team. Five more level nines. Next episode is going to be an hour long episode. Um, maybe, depending, uh, because we're just going to do the last mission and this mission in one. So we're going to do two missions in one episode. Um, I hope you guys are ready for that finale. I think it's going to be freaking awesome. I am One so excited for it. A little queasy. Man, Maybe they're saying the same line as last time. Eat right before it um. And now there's a turkey leg floating in our bowl. Great. What the hell is that? An advanced wrinkler? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Ew. Just like looking at- it just looks- uh, looks like one of those clickers from uh, Last of Us, with the with the head. The head looks kind of like how it's like open. Looks disgusting. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, we've never seen one of those before. That's that's new. Uh. I guess we'll deal with it in the next episode. Oh yeah, we have nothing else to fight. Yeah, we'll deal with that in the next episode. On year two hundred ninety nine, day two hundred and twenty. Wish me luck, guys. We'll take on the cadence together next time in a gigantic episode with both this mission and the final mission of the game the finale of the game don't be afraid to leave a like uh comment favorite and subscribe show your support hype up for the end of this series and before i forget please 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 leave a comment on whether or not you guys would like to see more massive chalice on a harder difficulty or another playthrough or something like that because i would more than be willing to do that um but thank you guys so much for watching I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Peace.